you guys, Tiffany here and welcome to Our Organic Life. So I had this idea and it's something that I've been kind of like stewing on and thinking about for a while, but something that I've been wanting to do is of course do um, more uh, farm fresh recipes, things that like recipes that are simpler, more whole foods, and um, things that you can like make with majority of things you find at farmers markets or even grow in your own garden. So leave a comment down below if you like this idea and if you would like to see more farm fresh recipes, maybe we'll start, maybe this will be the first episode of Farm Fresh Fridays. So we have a flock of chickens. If you follow our channel, you know this to be true. If you this is your first time seeing us, welcome. But we have a flock of chickens and uh, we run them on our pasture. I love my ladies. They give us ample amounts of fresh eggs that are rich in nutrients and just so good for us. My husband and my son both love hard boiled eggs. It is one of their favorite snacks. So of course I wanted to make them hard boiled eggs. We have so many eggs, might as well use them. My problem is, and if you own chickens, you know this to be a common problem, is that fresh eggs do not peel as easily as store-bought eggs. And the reason being, I don't know the, like, the scientific explanation of why, but the difference and the reason is, is that because, of course, fresh eggs are fresh. Oftentimes, I'm, I'm using them after I've collected them or even a few days afterwards. Store-bought eggs, by the time you get them in the store, they're usually weeks old, three to six weeks old, or so on and so forth. They're, they're older, so I don't know the scientific reasoning behind why store-bought eggs are easier to peel than uh, fresh eggs. If you know this answer, please leave it down because I've always been curious. But I would literally, I've tried, I've tried many different methods, adding vinegar to the water, um, Bringing the, bringing the pot up to boil while the eggs are in there, having it already boiling, submerging, submerging it in ice cold water immediately after, and nothing worked. We'd peel the eggs and chunks of the egg would just come off with the shell. It just, we could never get a perfect egg until I tried this method. I found this recipe on the Pinning Mama and I am so glad I found it because it has been life changing. We tried it out. We got right off the bat, first egg, the shell just fell off of it. And I was like, oh my gosh, maybe this is a whim. Second egg, shell just fell off and so on and so off. So we had those nice, clean, beautiful hard boiled eggs. My husband took a bite of it and he said that that was a really good egg. He actually kind of used a, a bad word. He was just so happy with, the, <laughs> compared to our previous hard boiled eggs. He was really impressed by this hard boiled egg. There was no greening. It was a nice, creamy, light yellow yolk, just perfect hard boiled egg. And it was so easy, like no hard work on my end. And all you're going to need is eggs and an instant pot and of course water. So what you're going to need for this recipe is of course an instant pot, your fresh eggs, a wire trivet that goes in the bottom. This is going to kind of, it's like a wire basket. It suspends the eggs above the water and then a cup of water. So we're going to go ahead and get this set up and get it going. So we're going to go ahead and pour our cup of water in the bottom of the pot. Place our trivet basket in. And then we are going to place our clean, fresh eggs in the trivet. We got our eggs placed in the Instant Pot on the trivet, and we're gonna go ahead and place the lid, make sure that the vent is locked. We're gonna do pressure cook high for 10 minutes. In the blog, she stated that she had taken them out. She had done a quick release of the steam, taken them out. Some of them she put in ice water, some of them she didn't, and she didn't notice a difference but try both and see which one you prefer if it does make a difference for you. The pressure cooker did its pressurizing, it cooked it, and it's fully depressurized. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and we're gonna get cracking. All right. So because I'm impatient, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna drop these eggs into an ice bath just to bring them down to temperature so that I can start peeling them and seeing showing you guys how this works. Mm -hmm. 
eggs have chilled enough for me to be able to handle them, let's go ahead and uh, break these open. <laughs> Look at that. Comes off super clean. Perfect. That, that is a perfect egg. I am pretty happy with this recipe. So that is how we hard boil our eggs. I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these peeled, but now you've got endless possibilities. Deviled eggs, pickled eggs. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drop these in a brine so that they are easily stored, already peeled. My husband can just grab one out of the fridge and pop them in his mouth. Uh, let me know if you guys would be interested in any pickled egg recipes in the comments down below. And uh, I've got a different bunch of different uh, recipes that I am trying out and learning new ones and just kind of concocting different flavors and stuff. So let me know. And I hope that this helps you in the battle against difficult to peel farm fresh eggs.